Rajaya Guaning Kanumating Yana Dumri. The cabinet announced that the government has decided to construct four railway tracks supported by pillars. This was a project that was included in the Western Province Development Plan that was submitted on the 29th of January 2016. We conducted a feasibility study on these projects and even selected a route from Kaduela to Fort and then started the project with aid from Japan. But what did this government say? They said that this project must be stopped because paddy fields will have to be filled for the project and they also said that the project is too expensive. They said that this will sink us deep in foreign debt. They are now planning on constructing the same project over the same paddy fields. The reason why they rejected the loan provided at an interest rate of 0.1% was because they wanted to restart this project and loot public funds. Although these projects have been approved, the general public of this country will not be able to reap the benefits of these projects in the next three years because the economic crisis that has taken root in the country is extremely dangerous. In March alone, they had printed currency worth 40 billion. Since December last year, they had printed currency worth 1.25 trillion. We are going on the same path as countries like Zimbabwe that have no possibility of receiving foreign loans. They rejected a loan that we received from Japan at an interest rate of 0.1%. Japan has not trapped us in any sort of debt trap. Japan is a country which has always supported us in our development drive. The fact that they threw away this loan in the hope of making money through commissions is a very dangerous crime in many fronts. <laughs> Partly Champika Ranavaka also spoke about the recent transfer of a police officer that has given rise to controversy. If people are going to raise such arguments, then even dealing heroin could also be classified as a small business. Based on this argument, one can say that the trafficking of heroin weighing milligrams is a small-scale business. I would like to question this government whether these were the promises that they made when they came into power. These Rajapaksas who tried to become Putin and Lee Kuan Yew have now become a joke.